chicken nuggets. Mmm, it's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey kids, sorry if I made you yawn, and sorry if I look a little wacky. I just woke up. You know what? Ever since I started this staycation, I feel like I lost track of time. I mean, I just stay home and do whatever I want, but sometimes that means staying up way too late. And last night, that was no exception. I stayed up late playing video games and watched my favorite TV shows. Don't tell my mama, please. <laughs> just kidding, Shari knows. In fact, she was playing with me until two in the morning. She's really good. You know the greatest thing about staying up late? Ugh! Sleep. That's what my whole time favorite things to do. Can you guess why? No, it's not because I look adorable when I sleep. But I get why you would say that because when I go to sleep, I kind of like just curl up like a little raccoon in a dumpster and it's super sweet. But the real reason I love sleep is because of dreams. I love dreams. In fact, last night I had a great one. Let me tell you about it. I went to sleep, water dripping down from the cave. I said, don't you do that. Are you Sir Charles? <gasps> yes, I am. I've always wanted to meet you. Let's just hug it out. It was really something. What was really something? Jada, hey, I was just telling the kids about a dream. Oh, cool, wasn't it wild? Yeah, totally. Wait, how do you know what the dream was about? Um, cause I read about it. What? How'd you read about it? Did I, did I write it down for you? Wait, uh, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the dream. I'm talking about the dream. Wait, are you talking about your own dream? Yes, of course I was. Who else's dream show would I uh, be talking about? Jacob's? Jacob's? Abraham's grandson, Jacob? Yeah, you didn't read our story today. Not yet, I just woke up. What happened with his dream? Well, it was really cool. It started with Jacob being away from home. You know, after he took his brother's birthright, things were not good for him back home. So he was running away. As he traveled, he soon discovered he needed to find a place to sleep first. He walked around and found a rock for him to lay his head on. Once he did that, he fell fast asleep and God decided to give him a very special dream. All right, this ought to be good. In the beginning of Jacob's dream, he saw the earth and above he saw the heavens. But connecting the two was a huge and very tall staircase. And on that staircase were angels going up and down. Angels? No way! Yep, and at the top of the stairs stood the Lord and then said this, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you were laying. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth and you will spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. All peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. And I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Whoa, wait a minute. God just said a whole lot right there. Yep, God was telling Jacob that this land was going to be given to him, that he would have so many children that they would be across the whole world. God also said that he would be with Jacob everywhere he went. God made a promise to Jacob. I wonder if God ever kept that promise. Well, what makes you ask that? Oh, I mean, I hear promises all the time, and sometimes people don't keep those promises. I totally understand, but here's the really cool thing, Carl. If God makes a promise, God keeps that promise. We are God's children, and that means we are one big family. I guess I never thought about it like that. Well, why do you think God sent that dream to Jacob? Well, who knows? But God may have recognized that Jacob was feeling alone, especially after him and his brother had a falling out because he took Esau's birthright. But God promised to bless Abraham and his family. And even though Jacob was far from home, he was still part of Abraham's family. More importantly, he's part of God's family. Oh, that's right. Well, it's pretty cool to see that God still sees us as family and wants to bless us even though we do the wrong thing sometimes. Absolutely. God loves us and there's nothing we can do to make ourselves not belong in the family. Even Jesus told us that he would never leave us or forsake us. I gotta say, that dream was a lot cooler than my dream. Hey there, kids. Today's big idea is we always belong in God's family. 
It's so good knowing that we will always be God's children. So let's say that big idea as loud as we can, but instead, let's pretend we're sleeping just like Jacob, okay? So I'm gonna close my eyes and lay like this. Are we ready? Okay. One, two, three. We always belong in God's family. Good job, everyone. Now next week is Carl's last day on his vacation, so let's make sure we don't miss it, okay? All righty. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Rewind.